welcome to my channel. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Hello guys, yeah, today I'm in my kitchen, I'm trying to prepare these vegetables guys, if you want to know how I conserve them in the freezer, then this video is for you, you might also be wondering, sometimes we want to cook some things and we don't have them in the house, so what I do is I just go, I prep my veggies, I prep them down. Here I have my carrots, spring onions, as you can see, multicolored, the species of bell peppers, right? And I have the green. All this we normally use in the home, but once in a while you might want to cook, you don't have it, you want to the market. So in order for us to prevent going up and down, what I do is I actually cut them up. I cut them up and I put them in the freezer, yes. I cut them up, I can use the robot like I'm going to be using today, but I'm going to clean it first. Okay. So, follow me as I prepare the carrots, guys. I'm going to be cutting off the head. I'll put it away here, okay. And then I'll cut them into chunks in a way that it will not be too much for the blender robot food processor guys you can call it food processor because i'm going to be using a food processor so i'm going to cut up the carrots like so i'm going to be burying my food processor now as i cut the carrots up i'm going to be throwing them in the food processor and i'll show you guys how I cut them into bits. Okay. Because I can't put all at the same time. I have to be careful. If you love what I do, do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. That way you see whenever I upload my videos. So guys, I'm going to be blending. This carrot is ready now. So I put them bit by bit. I'm going to be blending it now and I'll show you how I'll put them in the nylon. So let's go. So you can cut them according to sizes. If you want it not to be too small, you can leave it like this. Depends on what you want. I'm going to still continue. I'll blend it a bit and I'll put it out. I think this will do now. I have fed my lions here, guys, as you can see. See, I have prepared them. I hope you can see. I have prepared them where I'm going to put them separately. So, I take off the blade of the food processor. Guys, not to worry. If you don't have a food processor, it's not a problem. You can as well cut the carrots and keep them away by hand. I'm actually using the food processor because it makes it to be faster. That is why I'm using the food processor. Of course, I have previously washed and dried them up. You have to dry it up before you start cutting so that they don't stick together in the freezer. So I have previously washed them properly. I wash the food, the, the vegetables with salt, salt and water, guys. Yes. Sorry, I did not show you because I don't want the video to be too long. So when you get your vegetables, you put soak them in salt solution. Very good. Some people use vinegar. You can use vinegar as well, but I use salt. You can use vinegar if you have vinegar. You can use vinegar. If you have salt, you can use salt. You see. 
So when I do like this, I'm now going to press it in a way that it will not, I'm going to flatten it up guys, so that it will not occupy space in the freezer. Yes, I'm flatten it like this. When I finish, I will show you guys all what I'm doing. So I will go over to the next batch. I will take some more carrots and cut. So I've just finished blending another batch, preparing them in the liner. So whenever you need them, you know, we are ready to go. You don't need to be running about for carrots. Except if you need it fresh, fine. But if you need it for like your fried rice, you know, or to garnish your, your, your food. You should always have them handy in your freezer. We cannot all be running to the supermarket, to the market all the time, you know? So this is so comfy to have in your freezer. So now I'll be going on to the next vegetable. So now I'm going to be preparing the spring onions I've just finished cutting the carrot I will show you guys when I finish how I packed them so I'm now going to cut them into chunks so that they will go to the food processor will be able to cut them easily I cut them into chunks like so and I put them in the food processor guys I cut them it is so comfy to have them handy when you need them to cook you know just take them so I'm now going to put them in the freezer that I prepared, okay, I press it like so, this one you just need a little in your cooking, you know, so you have it now, look at how small it has become, you can as well chop them with your knife, but to make it faster, I use the food processor, so now I'm going to go on to cut the bell peppers, yes, Cut off the seed. See? Like so. Just take this out. Take this out. And then you put the seed somewhere. them like chunks and I put them again in the food processor like this it remove it the seeds are bitter so it's good to remove them I cut them up like so depending on how you cut it. I don't want it to be too small and I don't want it to be too big. Okay. See that guys? Amazing. So now I'm going to be keeping it in another freezer liner. 
you put them according to their colors so when you are cooking you know you have this you have that or you can combine them together but i normally separate them leave me a comment if you have any questions about what i'm doing let me know if you have any tip share it with me The peppers are finished, you see. I'm now going to be putting it here. See how small they became to save you space as well in the freezer. To save you space, you can't buy them and keep them like that. Lastly, I have the wine colored peppers. Going to be deciding them now. Make sure you wash them and dry them up before you start cutting. See, I'm taking off the seed. Get a bowl to remove. These are all the ones that I removed, you see, put them in a place, those ones are going to the organic dustbin, I don't want them to be too small and I don't want them to be too big, so I think it's ready, let me show you guys, you saw it before, how it was so big look at it. it has gone down plenty of space is going to save you see cutting them see is the best guys okay put them in your line down you see you prepare them according to their colors as well it's so colorful when you want to cook you know you have them handy give this a trial you will see that it's going to save you time, 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 guys. Guys, there is no time. We are all busy. You can testify to that. We are always running daughter's kettle here and there. Some people will say, oh, I don't have time to cook. -o. I don't have time to cook. -o. And this one, -o. you have time to cook if you organize yourself. Keep yourself organized. You see that you have time to cook. You love it. I have prepared our vegetables, guys, as you can see. Here we have all our carrots, you see. The ones I showed you before I started cutting, look at them now. Prepare them, they are in like four packs. I have the green peppers. I have the yellow and the red. And we have the wine colored chili peppers. So guys, this is so, so, so easy for you to prepare, guys. Give this a trial. It's one of my kitchen tips for you guys. Save time. Save you time. Save you money going up and down. Yes. Thank you so much for coming this far. If you know you've not subscribed to my channel and you love what I do on this channel, give me a favor by clicking the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. That's where you see whenever I upload my videos. Thank you. Guys, like always, I have come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much. Till I come your way again, remain blessed from real channel. Bye.